Uh, we, my name is Andy Matsuda. I'm the CEO of uh, Sushi Chef Institute. Uh, we are uh, teaching is how they do preparation for uh, sushi rice, uh, fish, uh, roll making, nigiri, and other Japanese foods in two months program. So we're here in Torrance, California. Uh, we moved to a little Tokyo to here as about 10 years ago. So, uh, so far, uh, 2,000 people graduate, uh, people all, all over the world. So, happy to see them in the future. So, now we're today is showing to uh, for the beginners for our home cooking, for sushi making. So, from a scratches. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Good to start it. Uh, we have an ingredients list. We have uh, sushi rice. And we have uh, cucumbers, okay? We have so far, we have about three cups of rice, sushi rice, and about cucumbers, one out of two, should be good. Avocado, one out of two, it's good. Uh, imitation fried meat, you can buy in a grocery store. Uh, seaweed. Uh, the negative side of this one, we cut it in half. So this is the sizes we do a roll. Okay. Uh, brand name, Takaokaya. This is a, one of the, our uh, sponsor. This is good quality one. Uh, mayo, uh, if you like it or not, it's just okay to use. Uh, we have a little mango, uh, just to do a unique one. I use that. Um, wasabi. And ginger, those one is good. Um, I have some of the frozen tuna. You can buy the grocery store. Uh, that's good. Fresh one is good, better. Uh, we have uh, canned tuna. Some people are not eating uh, raw fish. Uh, I have uh, some uh, raw uh, canned uh, tuna you can use for them too. So some of the options, you can do hurikake or some other showing to one by one for you. So if you have a question, you can text us or typing in. Uh, I do a Q&A section. I give you a lot of Q&A section. You can go ahead and do things, then and, uh, I can answer for you at, as much as possible. Okay, let's get started. So about sushi rice, uh, Japan, um, people said, uh, Understanding as uh, Japanese sushi rice, we have the cooking in uh, three years, but uh, it's a long story. So but we can show you in probably about five minutes for you. So we have uh, uh, rice, uh, sushi rice, regular rice are the same. It's called Japonica rice. So what we do, uh, put it in a bowl, water's in, it's gonna wash a few times and uh, putting in the water should be good. And I just want to dry them. It was about 30 minutes. Uh, people wash it in a rice cooker. I cook right away. Um, I'm not really going to do it. So uh, thing is wash it and then dry it and drain it out nicely. And we do for rice cooker. And simply uh, dry rice about 20 or 30 minutes. Put it in there and water it should be about 110 percent so you're a three cup you need to have a three and 0.3 three but now three hundred and ten percent of water's in and a push a button and probably by 40 minutes to about an hour ready to steam rice is ready so Rice is ready, then we use for a solution of a sushi zoo. So there is sushi vinegar. And this one is called a seasoning vinegar. Seasoning vinegar, a two type, the company there uh, is called Marikan and Mitsuka. They have a two uh, major uh, Japanese rice vinegar company. It's called a seasoning vinegar. Uh, those one has a vinegar, sugar, salt combination, ready to use. 
those one you can do a mixing after the cook the rice. How many percent? Right. People do a three cup cooking like we did it today. You can use in a half cup that solution. Mix it nicely and it cool down. Should be done. Then we can use it. What kind of temperature? Like a cool down until like a body temperature. Nice cooking uh, things. So I have here, this is the rice is ready. So we can use this making a sushi rice to do uh, making a sushi, a roll making, nigiri, a uh, hand roll, and a stock. But if you don't have a large group, probably this one for three cup, uh, four or five people in a group, but by yourself. So I like to do, recommend to do, um, you can buy in a Japanese grocery store, about like one cup, size of uh, uh, steamed rice pack. This is a new version from a Japanese uh, grocery store. They have many different brands. So simply you can do microwave in one minute, uh, put it out, pop. Then, tablespoon, you do for, one, two, three. And simply, little by little, and mix it. And you can do a cool down a little bit, same as before. This way, you can do with one person. You're a single person and a student or you're yourself. You can do a small portion of a sushi rice. Very easy, a simple way to do things. And it looks like a very professional taste comes in. So those one is, is the option to do the homey technique, or you can do a more economy way to do it. So, okay, this is the way it works too. Then you can do simply buy the grocery store fresh tuna or seaweed, wasabi, and making the hand roll, and you can do home sushi. Uh, sushi bar, kind of a little bit expensive, but you can do more enjoy your stuff for in the home. You can do that too. Okay, the sushi rice is ready by two minutes. Done. All right. For um, so uh, rice cooker, I we set up. Probably by 45 minutes to 50 minutes to do done. The sounds comes in. So take it out and put it into the bowl and a vinegar, 15% uh, of portion of it. Nice and mix it. Then you can do a cool down about 10 minutes or so. Uh, temperature coming to the body temperature should be great. Should be done. No problem. You can use it. So, all right. Thank you on this section. If you have any about a sushi rice things, um, we do is and other things is called poreha. Uh, some of the professional way people do for poreha because the Japanese rice is made by California. It's very dry because California is so dry. So they do for a toreha mixing with your sushi rice. Then happening is our a moisture is keeping a little longer. So not cutting hard, those like a kind of little sogginess is our state. Uh, so that's the way, way we do for mixing 
with the Toreja powder after you already make the rice. That's a secret for the Japanese sushi chef is. Sure. All right. So uh, people said, I want to know more professional and the way of a sushi vinegar mix it. So I can show you how it works. You can use for this time, three cup of rice you make. I making half cup rice vinegar. Rice vinegar you can buy in Marukan, uh, Michigan. Here, so you have vinegar, half cup. You need to have This is tablespoon size, three times sugar, and one time sea salt. That's great. You have a table salt, a little lighter size of a salt, and then mix it nicely. And then you can use for after cooking and 45 minutes, about, uh, about an hour. Then you can mix it that solution. It's coming to more, not vitals one, it's more professional home cooking sushi rice you can make. Open your gate. So you're one more time, you have a three cup of rice, you make a rice cooker. So you're making a half cup vinegar in here, sugar, one, two, three, and the salt, you can do a little bit lighter than one tablespoon mix it solution. All mix it completed. And after rice mix it, steam rice in here, that solution mix it, complete it, mix it by mix it. And it cool down till body temperature. Ready to go. Um, some people don't like any sugar or diabetes, no sugar. Could be, but you can do a little more, um, what we say, a little less solution. Otherwise, too sharp the vinegar and a little bit of salty comes in. But you could. It's a no less. You can do this way. But, um, not exactly taste that uh, uh, what we have, but it could, could be uh, some people are uh, not able to taking a, a sugar, so it could be done. That's just more personal issues comes in, so that's uh, you can arrange it to yourself. So that area is not the same as the regular a person. The taste it is, but more vinegary places. About a brown rice, thank you, is another good question. Uh, people do eating on a brown rice, more healthy brown rice. So what we do is washing brown rice, and then we soak it into overnight, overnight. So because the brown rice had a, still had a shells on it. So when no rice go in, so one need to do wash it, and clean the water, we need to do sock into the water overnight. Next day, we need to dry 20, 30 minutes and a regular away at the cooking. So we have round rice, wash the one overnight. We have a three cup and a three and a half with 110% water, almost 3.5, 3.3. Water is in, go ahead and cook it and then mix it as the same as other white rice. Done. Any question? Q and A. So uh, we don't cook professionally one cup cooking. We don't do minimum rice cooker. Be quiet about a three cup or so. Then we do uh, one and a half. I uh, was sorry, fifteen percent. 
So we'd like to recommend to do half cup and a solution should be great to do it. We don't do one cup for percent. So most of the time professionally, I don't want to be too confused for everyone, but we're making a bunch, gallon, two gallon, three gallon to make it, whatever we need and mix it. But home version, my formula come into three cup rice, a half cup solution, done. Other details, you figure that out because you're grouped by 10 people, two people, or one people single. So one cup people, one single people, I like to recommend this way. It's a see, easy, simple way it is. Question? Um, Japanese grocery store, you might be seeing so many different, uh, Nishiki or Tamaki Mai, as many as the brand, depending on your budget. It's called short grain or short, medium short grain. Um, Japonica rice. That's uh, popular in Ichiki, Amaki Mai, uh, Carrot Rolls, or uh, Tama Nishiki. There's so many different rice is available. Good for the sushi rice, rice, good for the steamed rice. What different between two? Probably it's the only difference is a water ratio. 110% is sushi rice, 120% the water is coming to steam rice. That's the only difference is because we have 110% cook for sushi rice and we have a 15% and a portion of a solution, mix it. So we need to do more of solution after you cook. Hopefully get your answers for you. When your rice is a hot, that's the timing to do a solution mix it. If you cold rice, put it in a microwave, you're gonna heat up. Otherwise, vinegar is not going into the rice it is. So that's a major uh, problem is. We can't do it a cold rice to do mixing, it's not. So we have to have, put it in a microwave, uh, it's kind of steam rice. So professionally, we cook, Right away, then we mix it, the vinegar, that's what we do. Um, yeah, when you're making a sushi rice bake, how long you wanna keep? Uh, we like to recommend to do eating in two hours. That's the best way, tastes better uh, and uh, Regulation, well, it's not regulation at home, but it's very recommended to do in the two hours. How long you keep? Uh, if you're leftover, cool down. You can do freeze it. You want to use it once in a while, it's fine. Then it will kind of be heated, heated. But don't keep it in a refrigerator one or two or three days. It doesn't make sense. So food's always eating in two hours. Done. That's a more safety and the tasty. Other than that, keep it in a freezer and up to you. Yeah. <laughs> Any question? <laughs> and dress. Chef Andy, this is thank you so much for the information. We got um some people asking, can you um say the question first and then answer just so we know what you're answering? Thank you. So, all right, thank you. So um uh, it's um Final solution we coming and the ratio and a white rice and a brown rice. Hopefully I get the all answers for you. So white rice, we do three cup white rice, Japonica rice, Japanese rice, wash it, dry, uh, cooking, hundred and ten percent of water. Then we use for Marukan or Mitsukan seasoning vinegar. Seasoning vinegar has sugar, vinegar, salt already. So you can use for about 
little less than a half cup, mix it, and it cool down to body temperature. You'll be fine. Brown rices, go ahead and wash it. Sock in the water overnight. Next day, you dry them. We cook, same as added a 10% water. And other mixing procedure are same. Okay, but professionally, you want to do three cups of rice. You want to do making your own rice vinegar. We can do half cup rice bean vinegar, not seasoning vinegar. Rice vinegar we use for three tablespoons sugar and a little bit lighter than one tablespoon salt, put it in there and mix it, complete and mix it, and you can mix it with after you cook to three cup vinegar. Hopefully I give you all answer. Can I move on? Um, a vinegar, it's a lot of vinegar. It's just more white vinegar, rice vinegar, uh, balsamic vinegar, fruit vinegar. Recommended to. Recommended to do rice vinegar. If you don't have it, you can challenge it, but not same taste. Prefer. We recommend it to do rice vinegar. Yes. So we're going to move on to making a bowl. So we have avocado, a cucumber, uh, crab stick. Some people have crab stick or shredded one. We mix it with a little bit of mayo. People do this way. So honeycomb crab stick. We can use a real crab meat. It's very expensive, like cucumber. Uh, you can do any cucumber. This is a hot house or English cucumber, American cucumber, pickled cucumber, Cajun cucumber. It's not much different. Crunchiness is different. Avocado, this is pretty big. Uh, we need to shred it. This one, even the one. And we have seaweed. Uh, seaweed is actually that big size, 20 centimeter. And we have a nine inch centimeter. They cut it in half, ready to go, condition. They have shiny side, rough side. The shiny side with the outside, we use the rough side for sushi rice. All right. Uh, we have sesame seeds or furikake. Any furikake should be fine. So you can do furikake as available for grocery store. More flavorful. We use for a little bit of water and a little bit of vinegar then. So what we do, a little bit of dip in your hand. So your sticky rice is not enhanced. So this is called temizu, temizu. Okay. So those one is ready. Sushi rice is ready. And cutting avocado or cucumbers. So cut it a little bit off side. Pencil size of uh, cucumber should be good. Ready? Avocado. You can cut it rotating. You can take the seeds out. In the center, you can rotate, twist it. So you can use for cut it in half, cut it in half, one more half. Okay, feel the skin and skinny, just a little bit more. Here, grab a stick. Don't eat the plastic. And we do cucumbers. California roll. 
the three item we do for seaweed. Wrap size is shiny size. So wrap size we need to do. We have a sesame seed. I put you in here and I want a little bit of water, not a lot, just to do enough water. I use for this bowl of rice, how big it is. Yeah. This size is our tennis ball size. You can see that, check the tennis ball size, the same size in this one. This one about 120 gram, four ounces of rice. See that? So we need to do put on on top, press it, and moving out all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, right in the center, all the way down. So you can see it cover the whole seaweed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. We do first this one, and we do sesame seed. And flip it over. So now you can see is right size outside. We can do cucumber and crab meat, avocado. See that? So your side, go ahead and pick it up and tuck it in. And you can see that some are left over in this side. See, we go over, complete it. Now I have plastic cover and makisu. Makisu had top and a bottom, uh, skin side and a bottom side. This doesn't matter. You can do cover in the center, uh, push it in, not push it down. It's kind of grabbing in a little bit. You can see one quarter inches uh, rolls out and it push it in. Other side also, you got to go push in it's here nicely. Nice is uh, softer. You can so a little bit of pressure. There's no problem. Voila. Done. So now we need to do cut. We need to do knife kind of a little wet. So when you dry, and a problem is very coming, a stickiness comes in. So we need a little bit of moisture here. Cutting board. You need to do cutting right in the center. So not center, not center, right? So we need to do hand side to side. You can see right here. Good. So cut in half, ready to go. One more half. Okay. And one more half. I'm showing to you better idea. People do Knife is not moving. Knife push it down. That's not a good idea. What happens? Push, push down, push it down, push it down, push it down. What happened in this one? Pretty messy. So we need to do knife need to be moved forward and back so you can see quickly move. So you can do sharp edges in here, but this one messed up. So sushi should be vision to eat. Looks good, this is good. So we do nicely decorate. This way. Not this way, but 
tastes the same, but looks not good. All right. I wash the hand very often. Um, a lot of people are thinking, why not have a groves? Uh, grove issue is coming is a lot of problem in the health department things. Uh, home cooking is you don't need groves on it, but you wash hands very frequently. Almost every five minutes you wash the hands. So your hands is clean, always is good. So one more time for you. So what we do, we do a sushi chef using for a little bit of water, flashing and right, so water, so you have a minimum of moisture. You have a small size, rice, spread, one and two. I need to do slow motion. Very hard to do. <laughs> Slowly, it's coming to here. Uh, move to the here. Professionally, rice is not sticky your hand because we do minimum moisture, always do. But you might be challenged, rice everywhere comes in. What happened? Wash your hands again. And a little bit more, and a little more moisture, not too much. Can challenge it. So we need it back again. Cucumbers. Avocado. And crab meat. This time we have a shredded one. Very popular. You might be seeing a grocery store. They do this way. I'll make it this one. You can buy it's already a shredded one with a little bit of mayo. Mix it simply. Uh, people do uh, sesame seed if you want. That's good. So ready to go condition. This one I'm making a Mayonnaise making me a little bit more creamy and flavorful because it does uh, vinegars, eggs, and stuff in there. So we need to do rope. Uh, depend on you, probably by 20% or 10 to 20% of crab meat should be good. How much do you want to do mayonnaise in it with crab meat? It's up to you, but Recommend to do about 20% of portion. That should be good. Good. So we have plastics on it. I like to recommend to do a connection under the knees so you are not showing on the top. Grabbing a little tight. And we do push it into the side. Both side, good. All right. Now we need a cutting technique. The first one, this way, second one. We cut middle again. All right. So, we do cut small one, one quarter. We're showing to unique way. We do just cut into side away. 45 angles down. See the different cutting technique. Making it more showing to the inside of surfaces. Looks good. So 
only the cunning technique to do it looks very different. You can see, question is the shiny side, a rough side about seaweed. You can see the shiny side and we do rough side. So most of the time, and Sushi Chef does rough side to do for this one. Not much different because the seaweed is going to inside. It's a moisture, it doesn't do anything. But most of the time in Japan, we do uh, cucumber roll, hikamaki, is a shiny side that needs to be going out. That's why the purpose for the right side is going to sushi rice in. All right. Uh, we don't need uh, people asking about a fish preparation. Uh, this time I don't go to the that far for a fish preparation, but. Uh, you can go to grocery store, it's already prepared. So you don't have too much worry about it, but you can say not non-Japanese grocery store to buy the raw fish eating raw. Just a little, little concern. You can ask for sushi sashimi great. That meaning is you can eat raw salmon or yellowtail or tuna fish. So there are more fisher not like a two or three days old or a frozen, whatever it is. So frozen tuna also there, you can ask them, is just eating a raw for sushi and sashimi great able to eat? You can ask in a grocery store. It's more safety purpose. Online, uh, people asking where you can buy a uh, bamboo mat, I can do it online. Uh, most of the Japanese grocery store should have a habit. Uh, knife is our probably, uh, I'm using for Japanese knife. Uh, doesn't matter. You can buy the shopping knife. You can buy a cheap one, a Daiso or a grocery store, Japanese grocery store. Uh, professionally, you can buy is by thousand dollars or five thousand dollars. So knife is are very white allergies. Which one do you recommend? Something economy way to do. You can shop knife should be good. So um, if you have home cooking knife, should be able to cut because it's a um. Your knife is uh, most of the time like a Western knife. Most of the Japanese, uh, it's a Jap American people has those uh, Western knife. Those one is not as sharp too. So people using for clean up knife and sharpness, it could be cut, no problem. You have any other question? Q and A. We need to do move on to special role. Uh, mayonnaise not a recommend, but it's, it's a Japanese knife with QP mayonnaise is available. Uh, uh, best uh, best foods is another company as it is, but same company they do anyway. But um, American grocery store you can see the best uh, foods mail or QP mayonnaise for the Japanese. Q&A, everybody okay? And let's move on. Special roll. Special roll, we do for some of uh, tuna. Uh, tuna, you can buy in a grocery store, uh, like uh, Tokyo Centra, uh, Mitsuo Market, or we can do a Nijia Market. It's a nice, good package. And I do for slicing, Four times, four slices. And I use for 
mango. The mango had a two type, a yellow one and a red one. Uh, this one, the yellow one, uh, they have a seeds in the right in the middle. I was in a Philippine uh, training and a people in a CCA county the school. And uh, they do for California roll. They don't have, they are too expensive to buy avocado in the, over there. So mango is so cheap. So in Manila, they do California roll as not a ma uh, avocado. They use for mango. It was fun. A little bit of sweet side. It was very nice to have it. So same way of uh, slices, I have a sweet slices for the mango. So try to do tropical tuna a dragon roll. Uh, inside is the same as California roll. We do for avocado, cucumbers, and we do for crab meat. <laughs> And we do seaweed with four ounces of rice, 120 gram, any small size of rice. So spread the rice, see that, no sticky rice. But you try, good luck. Might be really sticky. Sesame seeds, flip over, and we have cucumber, crab meat, Avocado, and rolling. The all same technique, so rice outside, you can make in so many different way of a roll. Caterpillar roll, dragon roll, crunchy roll, whatever you have a special roll, we can do this way. Now we have tuna, I do mango, I do tuna, mango, tuna, mango, and finally tuna. And that's it. A roll. A little more pressure and a side to side. And we do start to cut it with the plastic. You need a sharp knife, just a little bone, because the plastic's on it. And we do adjusting, reshape. All right. Decoration. I do rotate in the backside so you can see all 
nicely here. Come in here. Should be done. Uh, some people do sauces. This one is mayo with sriracha. And this is uh, unagi sauce. It's, it's just it's not ready. <laughs> Can use. Yeah. This uh, eel sauce, unagi, sushi sauce, you can do or sauces for orange sauce. Orange sauces I use for a mayo, two, and sriracha, one, two, one ratio. Eel sauce, you can buy uh, unagi sauce. Those ones should be good. Um, here, so you can do a little decoration, people doing, oops. for example, this one, this one here, little dot. We do pull in. So that's really done. This one is. Tuna and mango tropical dragon roll. Inside is California roll, a little bit more um, upscale, but a tuna is mango slice on the top. Question Q and A. Um, people are sensitive of a sanitation, tuna and a vegetable using for same cutting board. You made it, you eating right away should be no issue. But if you cut it tuna, you can have one hour, two hours, or you can keep continue to working in a vegetable. This is called crook contaminate. It's not a decommend to do a cucumber to cucumber. So we do cucumber vegetable and a head at a time. In a tuna cutting, a different location. You can do this way. Wash your hand, towels, knife, always complete it. It's making roll. So even though this one, we can't keep it four, five, six hours. No, you have to eat in less than two hours. That's the recommendation. So it's, for me, so I make it now, you survey eating, it's okay to do, to keep continue to work, but recommend it to do if you do prep work in a head at a time, hour, two, three hour ahead at a time, go ahead and separate, should be right. Uh, most of the time they using for unagi sauce, eel sauce, sushi sauces. Uh, should be in a grocery store, you can buy those ones. Uh, most of the time, chef making your own, like uh, orange sauce, uh, spicy sauces, by making your own sauces. Um, that's the chef uh, prefer. Mayo base, uh, some people do uh, other combination. Um, I saw that some of the wasabi sauce, uh, orange sauce I saw in some of the grocery store. Uh, Bonds Market, I saw sometime Asian section. Uh, Japanese grocery store, Shibuya has it. A few different sauces. But sauces are made is here in California. Japan, we don't have any orange sauces, green sauce, wasabi sauce. They don't have those things. The typical in here. Um, Honey masters, whatever it is. So those one they made it in the United States. Japan, soy sauce, soy sauce, soy sauce. Very different. <laughs> this is a sesame seed. It's having roasted, toasted one. You can do fry pan to do it. You can buy those already uh, toasted one. Yes, it's more flavorful.
Uh, spicy mayo, uh, I told you, and two mayo and then one sriracha. That's what we do. Ratio is by you. The meaning is one, the meaning one part, two, two part. So you want to use for spoons or containers, doesn't matter. Each container, one part, two times and one time. So Japanese kitchen is very simple. We give you a number, 311 or 411. It's the you all number for you. So dashi one, like a tempera sauce, 411. So dashi four, soy sauce one, eating one, the simple. So you can copy us by number in the same day. That's why Japanese people want me to talk. You can copy me same day. <laughs> Okay, the question again is uh, you are cutting a roll with plastics on it or not plastics on it. So recommendation is you have a something on a top, like a tuna, a mango, and other stuff, avocado. I like to do, recommend to do plastics on and then cut it. And after you cut, re molding again, so easier. If you plastics on it, could be sanitizing problem with it. So better to have a plastics on it. But your carbon or rice outside one, better to you can start it to straight to cut, no plastic. But it's it's, it's up to you. Your whatever your comfortable size is, the way it is, you can go ahead to do it. Any question? Ah, 200 years. No, just kidding. You can keep it. The how long you want a sauce is keeping. I'm joking, 200 years. No. Um, you can do less than three days. You mix it, use it. Leftover, you don't want to keep it that long. Okay, everything in the foods, not how long you can keep. You don't want to be keeping that long. Make it, use it, eat it. That's the best way. You have some leftover. And then maybe two or three days. That's it. This more makes sense. It is. Any question? We can move on. All right. So we're going to temaki roll. Temaki meaning hand roll. We'd like to show you two type of hand roll. So ingredients is go ahead and do yourself. You can use for cucumbers or avocados or kanikamas, or anything it do ready to go. I have a tuna is available. I use for a tuna. Here. Or it can do this side. I do something else. I have canned tuna, a little bit of mayonnaise, but I put it in 20% of mayos. So on one side, I have canned tuna with mayo. We do avocado cucumbers in here. This side, I have crummy avocado cucumber and a tuna. This is the inside. I can have this one, kanikama too. Good, ready. So, how she tell the uh, seaweed, and you're holding a seaweed this way, and you can see the left side of the corner, that's a very target corner. So rice are one ounce, one ounce is gonna be about a gold both sides or a pimple both sides one. So you have, Larger, wider top, skinny, and a bottom. We need to do all stuff in it and the corners this way and rotate. This is a 45 angle comes in. This one for a 90 angle comes in and rotating. 
So it's coming to the corn style. Okay, let's do that. So you have rice coming, the ping pong balls or golf ball size of rice, wider and skinny at the bottom. You see that? Wider and skinny at the bottom. People want to watch Sami, it's just okay, you can do that. But I have tuna, avocado, all combination, and here, that everything told you to the triangle on the top. So your condition with this one, 45 angle up. This side, 90 angles in, and tied up the bottom. Voila, you can come into tendril, triangle the way it is. Okay, this one. Next one is our how much of rice? Thirty gram. Ping pong balls or golf ball size. Golf ball size a little bit bigger. Ping pong ball size one ounces, about 30 gram. Just one, it is. Should be good. So this time is a little bit different. You can do the vertical seaweed way. Right. Hand draw, we do by hand, on the hand. Very quickly, we can do this way. And all stuff put together and going to roll up. Looks like a cigar style. So we have two type tendril. We do cigar, vertical roll up, or a triangle style this way. This one is more easy to eat. This one a little bit bigger, but you can see the inside. This one you can't see much inside. This is a more a bigger heads and here at eat. This one is rolling. A two different way it is. But inside you can choose so many different ways. You can do tuna, yellow tub, onion, avocado, cucumber, mango, anything you want, you can do. A very uh, home version. So you have a sushi rice and seaweed. You can do this way. So you don't need to go sushi bar, but sushi bar or a home version sushi party. You can do own way it is. My book. <laughs> uh, people asking what kind of a book. Uh, I have a one uh, writing book. Uh, we teach him by our uh, classes, uh, Sushi for Everyone. So those one is showing to all. You can go to Amazon, uh, Sushi for Everyone, and by Andy Matsuda, you can see that. But many a good uh, Japanese or English uh, sushi book is available. So you can go Google for uh, sushi, learning sushi. Uh, many uh, book is available. So uh, you can see those things. Any Q&A? Uh, how dipping a soy sauce your hand roll? Uh, hand roll is uh, this way. So you have soy sauce on the top a little bit, or you are in a cup, you can dip it in and you can buy. You can do this way, you can dip it, you can eat. So, kick them on, soy sauce, soy sauce. Some people mixing with a wasabi, but Japanese, we don't do the making, like a ketchup. We don't do this one. We just do a little bit more enjoy the flavor or the seaweed, rice, and the other. Just a little dip and a bite. 
even in just pints, dip it, eat it. This one. So we don't use much mixing wasabi, soy sauce. We don't do this way. So people will enjoy spiciness, or you don't flavor anything. So not too much wasabi, just enough. Right? What is traditional way to eating sushi? Um, when you go to the sushi bar, a chef making for you on a table, sushi counters, you can use for your hand to do pick up and nigiri and eat, like a shrimp, tuna, yellowtail. But your end table, we have to use for chapstick. Using for dip, eat, we do this way. But except hand rolls are bigger. So we can the hands, dip it, you can eat. This one also dip in, eat. But most of the items we already cut in a table, you can use for chapstick, little dip, and eat. Those for at a manner when a sushi restaurant you can how they eat. When you want to do wasabi for eating the sushi, um, if you're sushi and sashimi or nigiri, we like to recommend to do on the top of the fish, just a little. Or you can ask the chef to, I need to do wasabi, a little more wasabi side. So they can do under the fish, a little wasabi on it, a little bit more. So you don't have to worry about it, things. Um, some people mixing wasabi a little bit. This is okay, you can do yourself, but not too much. Traditional way to learning is not wasabi onto the soy sauce it is. Any question? Table manner for sushi bar. Um, yes, we do. We have a many a chapstick manner. We do here. Uh, we have chapstick and sushi bar. We don't have any spoon, fork, knife things. We everything by this one, we use it for eating Japanese restaurant. So how to decorate a chapstick, we do not vertical, we do east-west decoration, and you are and most of the time Japanese the right hand, so Bigger size, grip size, always right side of decorating. Uh, Sometimes you can see some paper to folding lift up, and people do sometimes. But folding, grab it in, we eat in here, and put down, we do. But we don't do pointing at people or thinking chapstick or grabbing it in. We don't do this one. So we don't like to do the comment to push you in and eating is not a proper way it is. Just to grab it in, dip it, and then we eat, it's great. Now, poke in, poke in is not a way, a proper way it is. It's why? Because it looks not a proper way it is. Not looks nice, it's hurting. Hurting a sushi, we don't want to do this. We grab it in, we did. Not this way, it's a very proper holding chapstick. Grab it in technique. Unique, very unique way. We get a two chap, two pieces chapstick. We use them for grabbing it in. Very different culture, it is. Uh, let's go to the new one. Is uh, people do a rice bowl, it's called onigiri. Rice bowl is a Japanese way of sandwiches. 
we're going to little trip, working, some places, a school. Uh, we need to have something to eat. So we do rice bowl, and we put in something inside. We do bowl and the making, and uh, we see we we round. We do this one, but we show into unique technique like uh, onigiri and sandwiches. Kind of both sides. I use for canned tuna. This is the avocado tuna. Can. I did a little. You can do fine. You can do avocado. Should be fine. Could could be anything you want and put it in. Okay, it's fine. And we do. Kudikake, this is great. And sashimi seeds, great. If you want a sauces, it's okay. Could be anything you want. Choose this one. You want a cucumber, if you want. Do this way. All right. I have plastic under the knees. I have seaweed and a first rice. And here, this one is probably by three ounces of rice, should be good. We have, you know. Avocado, cucumber, anikama. If you want fish eggs, could be anything you want, you can do. Wash your hand. I do kake. I need a little bit more one ounces of a rice on the top. Now we do another half sheet on the top. Okay, now we need to do using for plastic to do all wrapping together. And then grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. And waiting for 30 seconds at a minute because the seaweed is going to be moisture coming, coming to the one unit. So this way, Stickiness is not there. Your safety to make because it's not transferred to germ. And this way you can go with biking, go to school, go work, something this way. So easier to do carry with you. It's called onigirazu. Onigirazu. Very unique way in this way. So you can have a one and a two or three, all different types. You can do salmon in it or something and cook item better that way. Uh, no raw fish. I like to do some anikamas or some other avocado, fish eggs, should be good. So when you're this way, and how to do an insight. Cut it. You can see, looks like a sandwiches. So this way you can do plastic out and go ahead, enjoy the eating. Should be good. A lot of seaweed. Seaweed is good for you. But a lot of item 
minerals and a healthy item. Can you make an original way of onigiri? Yes, you can. So traditional way to onigiri is our triangle. So they have about three ounces of rice. Between the hand, they have a little bit of salt on your hand. Because the rice have no flavor, so that's why we do. It's triangle, 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 triangle. Onigiri and another name in the old musubi. Musubi meaning a two hand gather. So right hand, left hand, old musubi. This is good. Why triangle? People do drop off, drop. So, but triangle, you can stay one location. It's not holding somewhere the places. So triangle is a more safety for when you drop. So triangle. Some people poke in something, but general, a traditional way it is this way. And the sticky, so they do for CV. Done. This is the way as onigiri, a traditional way. CV, rice, a little salt on the hand. That's it, the way it is. Any question? Q and A. Furikake, uh, there are many type of furikake. CV powder, CV powder, uh, fish powders, is all kind of thing. This is a uh, wasabi furikake. Was Okay. Um, about our school, uh, Sushi Chef Institute, you can go go for sushi school. You can come up at our school, Sushi Chef Institute. We're in location in Torrance, uh, right next to the old Torrance Mall, 1123 Van Ness Avenue at Torrance. Uh, you can see the sushischool.net. Uh, we do for once in a month for uh, public. Uh, people come over in the evening. We can do sushi classes about two hours. So you can join us. We have a June classes, should be June 16 or something. You can email us. We give you the uh, annual schedule once in a month. We do uh, public people come in, uh, maximum probably by 10 people. So we can combine, I do uh, demonstration and people making, and we're going to sit down, you can eat it. So you can do that. Or like a corporation people, like uh, 20, 40 people, you're at a bonding party with hands-on. We can come up with your uh, company and um, we, then we can show you uh, some of the roles and you can make. We bring in the ingredients here in the company, then they can challenge in the making rolls and you can have it. This should be fun classes for hour, hour and a half and, uh, you know, social meeting, new people, old people, uh, saying something. Our professional classes are Monday to Friday, eight in the morning to one o'clock, five hour a day and eight weeks. Monday to Friday, eight week, very intensive classes. Uh, you can have all skill for a Japanese sushi chef, one to 10. We support uh, finding a job for you. So uh, we support. So uh, many uh, people are looking for a great chef. So uh, our graduator is about 2,000 people all over the world. So uh, people working in Morimoto, Nobu, uh, many restaurants and here. But there's a lot of people own restaurants too. They're making a pocket shop, sugo boxes, sushi bar, or fine sushi bar dining. Um, you don't need experience. Uh, you're in a working bar, you're working 
sandwich store, you're working McDonald's, it's fine. You can come in taking a two months program. If you're going to be a sushi chef, we can support and find a job. As now is a lot of uh, unemployment situation over. Now everybody looking for a job. A lot of owners are looking for a sushi chef. So uh, uh, we're just classes right now and for the house. Uh, next August uh, classes, probably about 80% full. So uh, but we have a chance to do taking our classes two months and a change in the whole world. We can do it. You can do it. What? Uh, again, you were in sushi bar and counters. You can, by using your hands to use the eat. But you were in a table or two goals. I like to be chapstick to do more better manners. But like we have a seaweed outside one, it's okay to do anything. But rice outside one is kind of a little sticky. So your clean hands is okay, but chapstick, we recommend it. Any Q&A? TV boxes. Yes, this is the Takao Kaya uh, CV boxes. So we keep in and I cut one uh, dry package inside, so we keep in it nice and dry. Um, Sometimes we do a toasting and a straight to the fire, it's more crispiness. We do that. Uh, this one is magic water. We told you uh, what they are. We use it for 90% water or 95% water with a little bit of vinegar. So we have a little bit of moisture in your hand. So uh, rice is not sticky. So you see that I do work for uh, rice preparation, uh, sushi making. And the rice is not sticky in my hand because uh, I'm a friend of a sushi rice. So sushi rice become an a friend and taking a two, 20 years. So the sticky hand is coming to rather sticky hands. Rice is coming. So we have our first week and uh, our classes. All students have very sticky rice in the hands a lot. So it's a very difficult thing is control. Uh, one idea is, is uh, put it down your hands cool down. The meaning ice water put in here, your hands is a big cold water. And then hand is cold. It's not dry your moisture, your hand. So rice is are not sticky comes in. Your high fevers or high temperature comes in, dry quicker, and touch of sushi rice coming very sticky comes in. So put cold waters and your hands and bring it down to your body temperature. This might be easier for you. That's a little bit of a secret too. Good money. No. <laughs> Why become a sushi chef? Um, I was at three years old. First time I made a miso soup. So uh, I'm very enjoy as uh, cooking your food because uh, I was in very poor family. So I was hungry. I want to go something to eat. So I pick up a tomatoes, I eggplant, cucumber, and then in the garden, and chop, chop, eating myself. Just starting to very young age to start to myself for a cooking thing. Um, in a junior high, high school, all my bento boxes made by myself. So I bring it, enjoy my cooking. After the doing a high school area, I serving my family member sometime. I do amago cooking or something and they enjoy it in my food too that's another a way for enjoying the cooking so um uh keeping the friends for a uh, cooking for them uh some party for them something to do enjoy and uh, my food is more another level of enjoy the cooking 
So I started to work in a restaurant and especially at a sushi bar, you were food. Uh, people are guests eating their foods and they're very smiling and they thank you. And people coming back every week, that's very enjoyable. So sushi chef, it's a very fun. Because you can see that the action right there. We are now working in a kitchen, so you can see the, the action on a customer. You can see right away and you can communicate with them. Then also they tip you, that's a wonderful things. So uh, sushi chef, this is very fun. Any question? Sure. Yep, I can show you two many dishes with the hand roll, California roll, and a special roll in here, and onigiri also. By showing two, a little bit unique one, I made it in the head of the game. And so I have a giant rolls in here. So, what I did is you can show how cut a moved in here, cut right in the middle, and showing to one, two, three. It's called Matsuri Maki. Matsuri Maki in a festival. In Japan, uh, one of the mother I create for, for the kid to something and fun to do it. So we will show you maybe next time. <laughs> it continues. <laughs> Thank you so much for today. Uh, have a enjoy your sushi life. Uh, we are here in Torrance, California, and we teaching in a two months program. Uh, basic role to special role nigiri, a lot of fish preparation. So uh, come in and join us in a two-month program. We'll see you in my kitchen.